a blessed good morning to you. Trust that you are well and that you are just waking up, getting ready to move for the Lord. We are looking at Hebrews, the 11th chapter, and that short verse, verse 20. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. This faith that Isaac had to bless his children, I look at it as the vision of faith. The vision of faith. And this morning I want us to look at true faith must always have to do with things not yet revealed to sight. When we look at verse number 20, where by faith Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. And verse number 11 says, Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promise. In Hebrews 11 and verse 1, he says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. To explain this this morning, it is saying that faith is a confident assurance of uh, that which we hope for, a conviction of the reality of things we do not see. Faith operate in the realm of the unseen, which means the man of faith is really a man of vision. He's a man who sees the invisible. The popular saying of the world today is seeing is believing. But the believers say believing is seen. Now God has revealed certain things in regards to the future in his word. For example, if we go to John 14 and we look at verse 1 to verse number 3, we will see him speaking to his disciples where he said, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me, in my Father's house and many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. If I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and I will receive you unto myself. Here's a promise that he made that he will go, he will come again, and he will receive us unto himself. He said that to the disciples. And the disciples, at a time when he said it, all they could do is believe him. But in Acts chapter 1, verse 9 to verse number 11, the Bible says, And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven, this same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner, just as you have seen him go. If you read scripture like First Thessalonians chapter 4, where he said, I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not even as others which I have no hope. But if you believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise for us. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. For the sake of time, we could read Second Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 7 to 8. We can read Second Peter chapter 3, verse 10 to 13. And you can read Revelation chapter 20. The unbeliever does not accept God's revelation. Neither do they believe those things in regards to the future. The believer, on the other hand, does accept what God has revealed. And that is the vision of faith. You and I 
are looking forward for the Lord to return. Why? Because he said that he will return. And not only that he said that he will return, we believe that he will return. Oh, when he spoke to disciples and he told them that he would go, just like he said he would go, he departed and he ascended into heaven. And this morning, you and I must remember that true faith must always have to do with things not yet revealed to sight. That's what faith is. I love to explain it by saying faith is like a check that you receive from your boss. When you receive the check from the boss, you immediately tell yourself you got paid. Well, the truth of the matter is that could be true as well as it may not be true. Because in order for you to be paid, you would have to take that check to the bank, make sure that there is money in the bank. And if there's money in the bank then, and the signatures and everything on that check is correct, then you will receive cash in exchange for the check. But if there's no money in the bank, then you have not gotten paid. But you believe that you are paid. Well, just like we can believe that the boss, he is correct and there is money in the bank. And that when you go to the bank, you will be able to take that check and change it for cash. You and I could believe even more than that, the words of Jesus, that he is coming again. He is coming again. And this morning, I remind you one more time, that true faith must always have to do with things not yet revealed to sight. I know sometimes we doubt, but we must trust in God. You and I, we pray and we believe God for what we pray for. Let's not doubt him. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Tomorrow morning, I would like to share with you from this very little book again, it is the presence and operation of faith in a life that makes that life pleasing to God. Now, may I ask you, where is your faith? What do you have faith in? Is your faith in God? Have you trusted him as your Lord and Savior? If not, this would be a wonderful time for you to call out to him, acknowledging that you are a sinner and place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, thank you so much for this day that you have allowed us to see. We pray your blessings upon us as we go through the day. We pray, O oh God, that you'll watch over us. We ask that you'll have mercy upon each and every one of us. You will guide us, you will protect us, and as you always do, provide for us. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done and what you are doing. Increase our faith so, Lord, that we would be able to believe and believe in you even more. Have your way with us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May God bless you all to have a wonderful day.